We've created our package, we've pushed it to GitHub. What we want to do now is to be able to submit it to Packagist so that other developers can search for it and then Composer require it in their own projects. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. The good news about this is it's surprisingly easier than what you would think it is. First thing we need to do is come to packagist.org and then at the top here, if you don't already have an account, you need to just go ahead and create an account. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I'll then go ahead and click register and then it'll tell you that your account has been created. And so what you need to do then is just go over to the uh, email address which you submitted in order to create the account and just confirm the account. So I'm gonna go and do that behind the scenes now. Once you've done that, then what I would recommend doing is syncing your GitHub account with packages. And this will make life much simpler when it comes to actually submitting packages. And when you go and update those packages, then those changes get synced from GitHub to packages. And you don't need to go and create webhooks and uh, go through, jump through a load of hoops in order to update things. So click on your profile name in the top corner and then go to settings. And then if you scroll down here, it says using GitHub connect accounts. Click on there. Okay, so I'm signed into my uh, Gary Clark account. It's saying Packagist is requesting additional per permissions. So I'm just gonna click Authorize Composer. Enter my password. If I enter the correct password. Okay, and so then it should tell you that you've connected your GitHub account to your Packages account. This is great, because now it means life will be really simple and we'll just need to maybe click one button whenever we make changes and it will just sync everything for us. And you'll see down at the bottom, or you should see down at the bottom, account connected to, and then the name of your GitHub account. Let's now go and submit our package. So at the top here, we have the submit button. It'll ask for your repository URL. So here's my repository URL. Just go to uh, your repository in GitHub and just grab it from the address bar at the top. And back to Packagist, paste it in there, click check. Okay, so I had a little practice of this project in, a, in another account. So uh, you probably won't see this message here. Or I'm sure you won't see this message here. It's just telling me that there's a similarly named package which has already been submitted to Packagist. And then it tells me that the package name found for your repository is Clark Tech forward slash performance counter. Press submit to confirm. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, great. And so that has now been submitted to Packagist. And you'll see this message here the first time you do this. It says, this package is not auto-updated. Please set up the GitHub hook for Packagist so that it gets updated whenever you push. And so this is what I was talking about, and this is the reason why I said you should sync your account with GitHub. So there is one step which we need to take here, and that should sync everything for us. So the way that I normally remember how to do this is I scroll down to the bottom and you'll see uh, some small text here. This package is not auto updated. If I click on that, it will take me to another page and it'll tell you a bit about the GitHub hook. The one I'm looking for is this here where it says, check your package list to see if anything has a warning about not being automatically synced. If I click on that link, and then it'll take me to this page, Clark Tech, and it tells me here that Clark Tech Performance Counter not auto-updated needs attention. What I can do is click this link here, retry hook sync, and that should sync everything for me. So let's give that a go. Okay, so I'll give you a message maybe at the top saying user sync schedule. It might take a few seconds to run through, uh, blah, blah, blah. But if I scroll down here, that warning there about it not being auto-updated seems to have gone. If I go and click on this, it takes me back here and I no longer have that message saying uh, that it's not being auto-updated. So this is great. And at the bottom here, actually, it says that this package is auto-updated. What that means is that whenever I make changes and push those to GitHub, then they automatically get synced in Packagist. And so when you come to uh, require the package in Package 
packagist, you're getting the very latest version, which I've just pushed. And so if you've got this far, congratulations, you now have your very first package on packages which other developers can go and search for and use in their own projects and so that's exactly what we'll do now we'll go on uh, we'll go back to our project where we were pulling this in as a vcs we'll change that and we'll actually compose or require this instead this is that demo project that i use so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove all traces really of uh, the clark tech performance counter so i'll remove the vendor folder I shall remove Composer JSON and I shall remove Composer Lock because the way I'm going to install it this time is just to say Composer Require Clark Tech forward slash performance counter. So hit delete on all of those. Here I've come to the home page, so not the Clark Tech page on packages, but just packages.org because I want to be able to search for my package and know that it can be found. So Clark Tech forward slash. As you can see, it appears in the search results there. I'll click on that. And then I'm just gonna compose require it in my project. Just one thing to note there is that sometimes they don't become searchable straight away. You might have to wait five or 10 minutes, but hopefully after 10 minutes, you should be able to search it, no problem. Okay, so over in my use perf counter demo, let's compose it require Clark Tech performance counter. Okay, so that didn't actually install, but this is quite interesting here if we read uh, the message that we're getting from Composer. Could not find a version of package Clark Tech forward slash performance counter matching your minimum stability stable. So by default, uh, the minimum stability for Composer is stable, whereas we've only created a dev version for now. We haven't given it uh, our package a version number. So this won't actually work, but what we can do is go and quickly create a Composer JSON file where we can say minimum stability dev, and then that will work. So Composer JSON, minimum stability. I'll just set this to dev, and then all the other things, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Okay, so minimum stability is dev, let's go and try again. Great stuff, that's installed. So, uh, locking Clark Tech Performance Counter dev main, so that is the branch that we're on. And in the next video, what we're gonna do is work on versioning, but for now, you can see that we have required in our Clark Tech Performance Counter. If we go and look in our vendor folder, you can see it there. And our Composer JSON and Composer lock files have been updated. So don't be too concerned if what I said regarding stability and versioning wasn't totally clear to you there because that is exactly what we're going to work on in the next one. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. And also, if you're interested in my full-length courses, then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.